All right, so this lecture is a little shorter than most of them, but I didn't want to attach it to the last lecture because then it, that makes that lecture too long. And it, this really is kind of taking us in a different direction than looking at um, the industry of the early 19th century. So when we look at the Jacksonian era, there are three things that we're interested in. There's this phrase that gets thrown around, Jacksonian democracy. We'll kind of challenge that. And that's going to be connected to that election of 1824, which um, I've got in the text, but then I, and it's in the textbook, but also um, I'll explain it in the video. And then the second thing uh, with Jackson is the nullification crisis. And this is one of those things... Um, I used to subscribe to this magazine called The Week, and it would have all of the week's news like in the United States, around the world, um, kind of like in a Reader's Digest version, like little short snippets. And there was one section of that magazine called Boring But Important. And it kind of reminds me of the nullification crisis. <laughs> the section of the magazine, it was usually stuff that had to do with like laws or Supreme Court cases, which might sound boring when you're like looking at the ins and outs of them, but ultimately are pretty significant. So the nullification crisis is like that because on the surface, it's about taxes, but ultimately it has some significant consequences and is kind of, a, again, with hindsight and implication to us that there's going to be a civil war. So that's why the nullification matters. And you'll read more about that um, in the text. I wrote some text out and then you've got it in the uh, 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 video as well. Um, and then finally is the removal of Native Americans. And we'll see their attempts to resist this. Um, but again, you've got some primary documents in there. You've got... Um, uh, Jackson's speech to Congress, and you've got uh, the art, the artworks of George Cat Catlin. Caitlin, I'm not, I'm not sure on the pronunciation of his name, but you have his artworks, and and the reason those are there is it just sort of shows that, in spite of the attempts by Native peoples to hold on to their traditional um, homelands the odds are just against them. If you've got a president and a Congress and popular culture all suggesting that this is going to happen, um, they just don't have the means to fight against it. And so um, the trail in which we cry to have the Cherokee there, but then uh, translates as the Trail of Tears, is the forced removal of <clears throat> thousands and thousands of indigenous peoples uh, from the southeastern part of the United States to what's today Oklahoma. Um, and you've got some couple of really good video clips that uh, consider um, the Trail of Tears. And then I've given you some, some documents as well. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.